Okay, so I'm just gonna look at process for creating invoices for back orders, uh, either whether stock is not on hand or is gonna be provided from different warehouses. So if we enter a new sales order in, we'll just start filling out detail as appropriate. And I'll just put a couple of products in here. Uh, and let's try, oh, actually, let's do this a slightly different way. Let's try, okay, I've got some available of these as well. Uh, actually, I'll leave that there. Okay, so let's say in this example, I want to um, invoice for the whole amount in one, but I want to do back orders as well. So here, what I would do is I would place 10 items. Uh, damn, okay, those 15 are in a different warehouse. Um, okay, what I would do here is, actually, that's probably a good example. So these are in a different warehouse. So what I'll actually do is I'll receive these five out. So these five are dispatched. These 10 are in a different warehouse. Um, what I would do at this point is place an invoice date in here and then approve this order. So that's going to approve and invoice the whole order together. And you'll see that the zero status is not imported yet or reset for re-import. You'll see that all 15 items are there. And if I click on invoice, you'll see that all of the items here are being invoiced for just in one invoice. Now what I can do here is I would go to zero or the zero integration and having sent this invoice to the customer um, just for, for cleanliness I'd sync this invoice down to zero. So here if I just choose I'll just grab the, the one that matters here. So this order is BBU 6-20, which is this one here. So import that into uh, zero. Then here, if we back order non-dispatched items, So remembering that the PLL and the caller has both gone on that invoice. So the back order has been created. So I can see that just here. And if I go into this order, then what I can do here is I can always pick another warehouse if I want to send this from another warehouse. So this is going to go from the Hobart warehouse. Which is the one that has stock. I can dispatch that out. If I wanted to, I can obviously mark it fully dispatched. It will do that automatically though anyway. And then here what I can do is if I place an invoice date in here, you'll see that the invoice total still shows 425 because the total including the last order. What I would do here is save to admin. And then the important little part of the step here is then on this order, what I want to do here. So if I go to here, you'll see it already shows imported. So it's not going to try and resend the order again. And we've got two linked transactions, but we've got just the one invoice for the full amount here. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, if you run a test or run the first one through and you've got any queries, then just let me know. Thanks.